So I have just received my new Prismacolor blending pencils. I got these from Amazon, as you can probably tell. All right, so they've come just in a plastic envelope. Nothing else in there. So the blending pencils are sold in a set of two sets of them in a plastic bag. get along with some free rubber bands. Ow! Jeez! <laughs> and a sharp edged. Oh, see, the cat loves rubber bands. The cat heard the sound of rubber bands and they had to come running over to investigate. Yes, you are such a good kitty. Thank you for coming to help with the rubber bands. Can I finish with the Prisma colors now? Maybe? Come on. Good kitty. All right, so rubber band held together, sweetie, <laughs> sweetie. Come on, come over this way. There we go. All right, so we got <laughs> two sets of Prismacolor blending pencils, and there's two in each set, so four separate blending pencils. The cat loves pencils, too. See if I hold them sideways so they fit better. So they blend layer softened edges of colored pencil artwork. So these are colorless blending pencils. Some people blend with white, but the problem with blending with white is that it makes everything lighter because of course white is a lightening agent. So if you've got some nice full rich colors, it's sort of washing out those colors by making them all have white in them. So it's much better to blend with a colorless blending pencil so that the colors merge together and smooth, which is what your purpose is, but that you don't affect the colors in any hue type of manner or lightening type of manner either way. So they come unsharpened. The back side says Best use, use with Prismacolor Premier Softcore Colored Pencils. Yeah, figure Prismacolor is going to push them all. And um, I do recommend getting a Prismacolor Sharpener because all of these things have a core. And, well, yeah, let's just open this up. Get the standard cardboard backing. It has the plastic outside. helping here. There we go. All right, so the pencil has the standard wood around the outside and then the core on the inside. And if you use a cheap sharpener for something like this, it'll actually torque or twist the inside separate from the wood and then that separates the inner core from the outer wood and then it can slide around in there and cause all sorts of problems. Oh, yes, yes. The cat has to chew it because that is what the cat lives for. So, is that nice and crunchy? Is that cat approved? All right, so it's PC 10, oops, sorry, PC 1077, if you're curious about the number. But really the uh, thing is that it's a colorless blender. It is a Prismacolor blender, so it's meant to work with the Prismacolor pencils. And I will definitely be using these a lot. And I will uh, put up some pictures to go with this to show you how the blending works. And I'll do some pictures of blending with this versus blending with white so you can see what the difference is. So let me know if you have any questions.